women's immune systems tend to be more robust compared to men, which may offer some evolutionary advantage in fertility and childbearing, further allowing them to ward off infections that could be threatening during pregnancy. The female vulva, encompassing the entire external genitalia, contains thousands of nerve endings that surpass the amount found on the penis, underscoring why some women experience heightened sensitivity during sex. A woman's orgasm can enhance fertility by causing contractions that potentially help sperm navigate through the cervix and towards the fallopian tubes, increasing the chances of conception. This phenomenon is sometimes referred to as upsuck theory. The texture of a woman's voice tends to subtly change throughout her menstrual cycle without her conscious knowledge, often peaking in appeal during the fertile phase. The female clitoris is the only organ in the human body solely dedicated to pleasure, and it is much larger than it appears on the outside. Its internal structure resembles a wishbone and can measure up to 10 centimeters in total length. During sexual arousal, the scent of a woman's vagina undergoes slight changes due in part to shifts in body chemistry, which can affect a partner's attraction and intimacy dynamic, adding a subtle layer to sexual attraction. Interestingly, women with naturally high estrogen levels may subconsciously emit a scent perceived as more attractive to men due to evolutionary cues associated with fertility. The female cervix has the ability to differentiate between various sperm, showing preference for those swimming most efficiently which might actually improve the chances of conception with certain genetic matches. Certain foods that women consume, such as celery and pineapple, are said to impact the taste of bodily fluids during oral sex, offering a unique dimension to their sexual experiences and perception. Some women, due to a phenomenon known as spontaneous sexual arousal, can become physically aroused without any sexual stimulus or thought showcasing the complexity and unpredictability of female sexuality. Researchers have found that some women can experience orgasms while engaging in non-sexual activities, such as exercising or even thinking intellectually challenging thoughts. The female G-spot is part of a larger complex of sensitive areas within the vagina, collectively known as the CUV complex, which includes the clitoris, urethra, and vaginal wall, indicating more pathways for pleasure than typically known. Women can experience what is termed as corgasms, orgasms that occur through intense core muscle exercises like sit-ups, indicating a rare crossover between physical activity and sexual response. Subsequently, athletes often report experiencing higher sexual satisfaction, potentially linked to these fitness-induced sexual phenomena. The Bartholin's glands, located near the vaginal opening, can release lubricating fluid during arousal, and there's speculation that the scent of this fluid can be subtly modified by diet, inadvertently impacting a woman's sexual allure. During arousal, the clitoris swells to almost double its size due to increased blood flow, similar to how a penis becomes erect, yet most of its structure is hidden beneath the skin. Some women are capable of having a sleep orgasm, which occurs during the REM stage of sleep when brain activity is high. This can understandably lead to unexpected yet pleasurable awakenings. Interestingly, such orgasms can happen without any physical stimulation, driven solely by dreams and heightened emotional states. The skein's glands, believed to be the female equivalent of the male prostate, can emit fluid during orgasm, which some studies suggest might contain components similar to male ejaculate, reshaping our understanding of female sexual physiology. During pregnancy, some women experience a heightened sex drive, which is theorized to be linked to increased blood flow and heightened sensitivity throughout the body. This can sometimes result in more intense orgasms due to the amplified nerve responses. Having no sex for a long time can make you experience a range of emotions, from frustration to indifference, depending on the individual's view of sexual activity and its role in their life. 